also, with this being the last time the sunset of ceremonies for the Iraq War Monument, there is, un there is unfortunately, tragic epilogue to this occasion today that cannot be ignored. Another major crisis, another war, is occurring that, in some way or another, ultimately affects us all. While me, American veterans, did our duty and served our great country by fighting for the citizens of another, the lives of the people of Ukraine are now in great danger, with more and more dying each day. Their freedom and liberty is in much peril, much the same as Iraq. This time, though, we are not the ones insisting in the fight for the very survival of Ukrainians. Their military alone and the brave men and women civilians, armed with only mere rifles, carry out the dangers of warfare by themselves unrelenting in their determination to keep the country free of the tyranny that they were refusing to surrender to. The thought this is a war that doesn't involve any dictators in any Middle Eastern countries. We are definitely impacted by the death and devastation occurring in Ukraine. My husband's grandparents emerged from Poland around 100 years ago, so we certainly feel the effects of this war since Poland borders Ukraine with some attacks even occurring near their border. I'm sure many of you have ancestors who originally came from Eastern Europe or have spouses, relatives, friends, or acquaintances who only in recent times became American citizens. What's happening in Ukraine does affect us and weighs on our minds and hearts. I hope and pray that this turmoil, death, and destruction will end very soon. Some come here as or others who come from elsewhere or other countries to assist or fight for those in need or are unable to defend themselves. In Iraq, American forces and our allies fought for their people's freedom and liberty. We honor and celebrate our heroes on this war, on this star of heroes. We will always remember the sacrifices that they made, everyone made years ago now. Sometimes though, heroes are found right here and at home in very people who live in a war-torn country, even in those who govern it. In Ukraine, citizens and their leaders both have united to fight together to defend their own freedom and liberty now. Someday, somewhere, another star or symbolic monument will exist to always remember even greater sacrifices they are making today. As one more and its monument right here next to me become more and more a part of the past, Yet another occurs now, with the outcome not yet known, nor the fate of the people who are in jeopardy. Let's hope and pray that there will be peace and that they will, all, will also be free to honor and celebrate their heroes and themselves, just as we are doing here today, one last time. I want to thank you all for being here today, for all of you who helped me or encouraged me with this project for Iraq veterans throughout the years. I am especially grateful to you for all your support. I greatly appreciate it and the inspiration it gave me to keep going and going until all the empty space was completely filled with everyone now represented on here. It's only fitting to de declare this mission is now accomplished and begin focusing on the future mission of the Afghanistan monument. May God bless our fallen heroes, our veterans, and first responders, and may God bless America.